All right. Well, win is a win. It wasn't pretty. Um, you know, I'm, I'm proud of our, our team. Uh, we grinded it out, um, and we figured out how to win. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that we're missing here tonight, and it wasn't perfect. Um, you know, obviously, get out, rebound it again. Uh, you know, shows you that we miss some people. I think we, we miss Angelique, you know, and, and, and we miss Layla Fair. The, both those guys do a great job of rebounding. I mean, that's their strength. So, so we're missing a little bit of that, but collectively, we got to do a better job. We got to figure it out. You know, and we got to make more of an emphasis to, to go and, and, and make contact and, to, and, uh, and then go retrieve the basketball. And I thought that today, for whatever reason, just like the assumption game, like shot goes up, we turn around, and, you know, we allow them to go right to the paint and then get offensive rebound, second chance points, but then you give them confidence um, as well. And, and I thought that uh, we did that here today. Uh, but I, I thought the lack of, uh, you know, rebounding hurt us. And, and then you look at, you know, uh, missed shots. I mean, we had 16 missed layups, you know, and then we went two for 16 from three, you know. And uh, some of our returners didn't have their best games, you know. And, um, you know, I expect, uh, you know, Sid to play a little bit better than she did here today. I thought that, you know, she was frustrated and, you know, she, she you know, struggled to get it going. Uh, but did a really good job, you know, late in the second half. and you know, defensively and, and then also, you know, uh, created for others. And, and that's the thing. If it's not your night, you got to figure out what else you could do to impact the game. And I thought that, you know, she was able to create for other people. And, you know, she had five assists uh, on the day. But, uh, you know, I thought the difference, you know, obviously was uh, Sam Breen down the stretch, you know, and um, we just, you know, forced the ball into her. And uh, she was one-on-one -on -one coverage. And, you know, time and time again, I continue to tell everyone to throw it inside. and. And we did that, and then we created some separation there. Uh, big basket, you know, in the end of the third period, you know, where we uh, uh, ran a, a set and uh, picked and uh, popped and set a screen for Sam to pop out and knock down that three. And I think that kind of gave us some momentum there. But, uh, you know, uh, everyone expects us to be, you know, where we were last year, where we ended. And, and, and it doesn't happen that way. You know, there, it's a journey. It's a process. We're not there, um, nor do I want to be there right now, right, because then it's going to get really boring. Um, so, you know, I, I like to figure out, you know, um, and I need something to do. We got to get better, you know. So, um, but you know, all the kidding aside, you know, this game, you know, kind of exposed us in several different ways, and uh, we just got to do a better job defensively. We got to sit down. We got to stay in front of the ball and be better there. And and when we did defend, you know, we were able to get stops. You know, it was our best offense because I think then you saw change of possession. We were out and, and we got out and we got one legged layups. And so, um, you know, that was good. But uh, overall, you know, again, you know, not the best game, um, but we figured it out. Uh, we found a way to win. Um, I thought that Destiny Floxy, um, her minutes were really good here tonight. Thought that she was a catalyst as well, made a lot of things happen for us. Um, you know, she's obviously dynamic, um, you know, just her ability to get to the rim. Um, um, and then also create for other people uh, besides yourself. So, you know, I thought Sam, you know, was special again, you know, offensively. Um, I thought defensively, she's got to do a better job. She's got to box out. Um, and uh, believe me, that was communicated to her several times. Um, but, uh, you know, I expect us uh, to be better, you know, moving forward. But uh, we'll learn from it. And, uh, you know, uh, again, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to uh, improve. I'll open it up for questions. McKenna got her first start in a while, 32 minutes as well. What were your yeah. thoughts on her play? Yeah, you know, I, I thought she started off really strong, uh, to be honest with you, um, you know, and uh, was super excited for her. I think, you know, you look at what she brings. She does a great job of, of communicating. I think that's her, I mean, one of the, her biggest strengths is talking on the floor, but then also defensively. I thought she did a great job of staying in front of people, challenging shots, um, and then boxing out and rebounding. So, um, you know, I, I expect that from McKenna. You know, and uh, she'll probably look at the stat sheet and be like five points, eight rebounds. You know, uh, it wasn't my night. You know, I'm looking at it and I, I'm like, well, she still, you know, um, impacted the game, you know, but can't she score double digits? Absolutely. You know, and she's probably saying, well, when you throw the ball into Sam every single time, how am I going to score? But we'll work on that. And, and McKenna will get her touches. But, but I thought that, uh, you know, her, she was pretty solid here today. both on both ends. I'm just curious if you saw that or what you found of her performance tonight. 
Yeah, I, you know, I, I, you know, I thought it wasn't her best game, uh, to be honest with you. Um, you know, but again, you know, she's, I know she could do better, and I'm going to challenge her to do better. And uh, you know, doesn't mean that you know she, she didn't do um, some good things for tonight. You know, and, and because she did, uh, but I, one, I, I just think that she could do a better job of containing dribble penetration. Um, you know, and, and she missed a lot of layups. You know, uh, down the stretch, and those are ones you know that she normally makes. You know, and and again, right off the bat, you know, she goes three for eleven, zero for four from three. You know, I mean, like she normally will go. You know, whether it's two for five from three. You know, and then you know five for nine from the field. Um, you know, but instead, you know, she goes three for eleven here today, and it wasn't her best game. Um, but but again, it's 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 game number one, and I expect uh, her to be better next time we uh, step on the court. What's the status of? Yeah, both those guys are uh, day to day, you know, and so I'm hoping that uh, uh, they'll be back in practice, uh, if not tomorrow, um, you know, then the following day. Uh, but again, uh, you know, got bit by the injury bug a little bit here today. Nothing severe, um, you know, but what it does is it doesn't allow us to kind of build that chemistry in practice because, you know, it seems like somebody's been out every single day. Um, but uh, I'd rather have it now than later in the year, get through it. Um, and like I said, there, there's nothing severe, and I expect to, I, I expect those guys back uh, sooner than later. How do you feel uh, on Gabriel's performance tonight, um, just in her first like you know regular season game? Yeah, you know I, I thought she played well. To be honest with you, I thought her minutes were really good, and you know, and, and I communicated that to her in front of the team, you know, and, and that's the thing, you know, I know she played only eight minutes, and you know she's probably thinking, you know, I probably should have played more, but. You know, her goal is to, you know, turn those eight minutes into 16 minutes, you know, each and every single day. But for her, you know, first time hitting the floor and, you know, her rip and drive from, you know, the perimeter, I thought was, you know, I thought a lot of people were like, whoa, you know, and uh, it's pretty impressive. Um, but again, you know, she hasn't played a lot. Um, she's getting acclimated. She's getting used to, you know, what we're doing on both sides of the ball. So once you start and you understand, because we're so systematic on both sides of the ball, once you start to know where you're supposed to go and what you're supposed to do, then the game slows down for you, you know. And, and again, you know, she's still trying to get acclimated to that. Um, you know, we've seen her in practice do some things where we're like, wow, you know, uh, pretty special. But again, you know, is it going to take time? No question about that. Um, and, uh, and she has some players, you know, who are really good in front of her as well. So uh, I'm just fortunate, you know, to have that depth. Um, we just need those guys to get healthy so I can sub a little bit more tonight than I did. We did get to see some other stuff tonight. I wanted to ask about Alexia. She got some in with our coil over at the end of last season. Yeah. How do you think she performed? Yeah, you know, she, she had good, a good solid 10 minutes. And, um, you know, that's what we need from her. You know, you look and, you know, it's not necessarily about uh, the scoring column, but, you know, she did some nice things. You know, she was solid defensively. Um, she was in the right spot, doing the right thing. Um, so as long as, you know, um, the, you know, the players coming off the bench, you know, are in the right place, um, you know, doing the right things um, at the right times, what it does, it allows them to stay on the floor. You know, they can't come out on the floor and be a liability because they don't know where to go or what to do. Um, and so she's grown in that, that regard, and that's why she's getting, you know, 10 minutes. What were your emotions seeing the banner being unveiled before the game? Oh, man. Yeah, special. Yeah. You know, it, it was uh, sp uh, it was really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it, and you just got to understand it was just like, you know, seven years ago, I, I took this job, and you know, you you don't know, what, you know, how, you know, what it's really like until you get here and you start working, right? And I knew that, you know, from my visit and 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 coming to campus, I'm like, man, I know we could be special. I know we could do it, but you really don't know. And what it's like until you really get here, you know. And and I know that you guys heard the story so many times, but like, you know, like we were terrible, we were terrible. We had no culture, we had no pride, you know. And to me, as a coach, like, man, that's so defeating, right? Like that. I mean, like I was embarrassed. Like people would watch us play and leave, and be like, oh my God, they're terrible. They're like, they don't even like, but. When they did come and they watched us, regardless if we had six players or not, I, I felt like at least we tried. And yes, we probably we didn't win a whole lot of games, but at least we tried, right? And so going from that period to winning it, I mean, it's come full circle. 
you know, and and I'm just incredibly, I'm just blessed, you know, that I'm surrounded by great players, you know, a great administration that supports us and gives us everything that we need to be successful, you know, and, and they believed in me. Like Ryan Bamford, like, walked with me step for step, you know, Kirsten Britton walked with me step for they were they were side by side the entire way the entire way you know and to have that support with a group of players and coaches man like it's 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 a recipe for success you know but when when you know lights were on the banner you know I, I took a second and and I got emotional no I mean you guys know me I'm soft <laughs> and you know I it's just there's so much work has gone into this and when like people like look at you and they're like you're crazy for leaving your other job to go to UMass where they haven't won there's no tradition there's no history you know they're not they're, they're terrible what are you doing and question you you know and then sometimes you question yourself but then you come here and you and you do it man I sleep really good at night Yeah, and we know that. You know, we're going to get everyone's best. And, uh, you know, but like my, our mindset needs to be like, you know, we're hunting. Like everyone says, oh, you know, you're to hunt it. Like, no, we're, we're coming out. We're hunting every single night. You know, we're not going to, we're, we're not going to, you know, just sit back and let people give us their best shot. Like, no, we're going to take it to them, you know. And so that needs to be our mentality, um, you know. And, and I felt like, you know, there were periods, you know, tonight that we did do that. You know, but it, it can't be for 22 minutes. It needs to be for 40 minutes, you know. But like I said, it wasn't perfect here tonight. Um, there were some good things. Um, we were inconsistent in some areas, but we're going to continue. We're going to continue to grow and develop, um, get acclimated, build team chemistry, um, and then, you know, hopefully down the road, you know, be solid in every single area. And then, you know, we could go out there and, and, and do what we do. Um, so, um, a lot of room for growth, but it's November 7th. You know, we want to be our best March 7th. Okay. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you. Uh, at the moment it is throbbing, but you know, we live to, uh, we live to learn another, live to breathe another day. I'm going to ice it tomorrow because we have a big game coming up. So we just got to suck it up and play. Um, Verdi did not think Bernard had her best game. I would say I can't argue with that, but I did think she did some nice things, uh, particularly for both of you two, and finding you up the floor on the fast breaks, kind of feeding you those uh, quick layups. I'm just curious if you kind of felt as though uh, she was sort of funneling the energy through your offense that maybe some lulls when things were kind of chaotic. I mean, I think just because the ball's not going in the hoop doesn't take away from everything else that she's doing. She still facilitates runs the point, um, finds her open teammates, like you said, and she still picks pockets on defense and is in the right spot. So I don't think her, the ball not going in the basket for tonight maybe wasn't her best game, I guess, but it still didn't take away from everything else that she does and contributes. What do you think the major difference was between like, that first half and that second half where you guys were able to like, get some space off a little bit more? Um, I just feel like the first half we got too comfortable. And we tend to play to the team's talents instead of playing to our own talents. So once the first half ended, we knew that keeping his team in, keeping his team by us was not the best look, especially going against a big team coming Thursday. So we just tried our best to do what we do and play UMass basketball and stick to what we know. And that's what we did, and we pulled through. Do you think one of the reasons you guys got out rebounded today was because Spencer Leak and uh, Larry the Winner out there? <laughs> 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 I mean, I feel like that definitely isn't going to help us just because I feel like Ange and you guys haven't seen Layla really too much yet, just the exhibition. But yeah, I mean, they obviously can can get some rebounds. So I think that does hinder it a little bit. But I also just think we need to do a better job, not even just boxing out, because sometimes we'll have the box out, but like pushing the people back and going for the ball. Um, so I think they, they'll obviously help, but we can help ourselves a little bit too. Coach was talking about how it seems like there are a lot of players that are being injured and been difficult for you guys as a team to sort of come together and, and build the chemistry that you need early 
Uh, not really, because in practice we um he switches the lineup. He switches it up, and you get to um understand everybody's strengths and weaknesses. So we've played without and I played without Andrew on, on some teams. So did Sam. So um I feel like it's all about adjusting and getting to know each and every single one of your players throughout the summer, mm -hmm. and that's what we did. So I mean we just played without Layla and Ange, and honestly I feel like we did perfect. Yeah, I feel like the only thing that makes it a little bit difficult in practice is like rep-wise, especially the post right now. You're just getting a lot more reps, but um, our practice guys are great. So going against them a little bit more the past few days with people out has been pretty beneficial. Sam, you tied your career high with 31. What enabled you to have that success today? And when did you know that you'd be able to have so much success down low? Um, I mean, I think we kind of went over that as part of the scout. Um, just knowing I'd be able to get post touches. Um, so I've been working a lot more back to the basket the past week just because knowing that's what I'd get a little bit more. Um, and then I think once I started to realize they weren't actually doubling me, um, it kind of opened up a lot. Um, it's kind of more of like a stunt fake help. So realizing that, I think it opened up a little bit more than being patient. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, she's one of the Naismith nominees. I'm not surprised. I mean, right. I feel like she could have, she should have been got the recognition she deserved. But honestly, rather late than never, she's one of the best players I ever played with, I ever knew. And uh, 31 points, I feel like she won't go for 40 one time. But All right. 31 <laughs> is definitely, definitely um, crazy for the first game, and it, she's going to be unstoppable. So I just hope teams prepare. I have a question for Sam. Yeah. Can I? Um, kind of just looking ahead a little bit. Obviously, Tennessee is an exciting opportunity, an exciting game, but just in terms of kind of women's college basketball is on the rise in terms of media coverage and oh, like awareness and things like that. And I feel as though Tennessee, Pat Summit sort of built a foundation for women's basketball. I'm just kind of curious what that specific opportunity, like stepping onto that campus, earning the respect to play against that team sort of means for you both. I mean, I'm excited, I think. Regardless of the outcome, we're going to go down and do our thing and show what we can do. Um, so I think that'll be super exciting just for us to be able to go down. We haven't really played at a location like that, at least not since we've been here, and we've been here a while. Um, so <laughs> going down and playing there and just doing what we do, um, we know we can play with them. So just kind of stepping up and proving that. Obviously, tonight didn't dictate how we can play. So just like kind of learning from this one and tuning up for that big game that's obviously early in the season. So. She said it all. I mean, I, I, we do want to thank Tennessee for taking this game, but like I said, we're going to play UMass basketball, and our intention is to come in there and come out with a W because I feel like we deserve to be ranked, and we've shown that we can be ranked. So coming Thursday, we going we, <laughs> I'm not going to talk too much, but we're going to do what we do best. What were your emotions watching the banner get unveiled? All right. All right. <laughs>